right, we're playing. Hey, JD. What's up? Well, hey, uh, what are we playing today? We are playing Siege. And it is a game where essentially you build a catapult and you blow up or, or knock down castles or houses or sheep. This is an early access game on Steam, right? Yeah. So as you can see, these areas aren't working yet because it's under con under construction apparently. But this game, no, for most early access games, I found this one to be actually pretty well constructed. So then you had to let me show us how to play. Okay. So I'm gonna play the first level. I've beat all these levels because I'm like hardcore like that man. <laughs> are you are you like a legit MLG <laughs> besieged player? Oh yeah, totally. Are you, by the way, I keep calling it besieged. It's besiege. Well, it's present tense sieging. That's new. I didn't know you could do that. Uh, Why would you want to do that? Uh, so these are the different levels. Look at that. You can see the back of the cliff now. Maybe there's a secret level. Okay. Anyway, let's play the first level. Let's do it. Southern Cottage. Well, this is nice. We're going to go destroy somebody's cottage. Yeah. And so what is this phase you're in right now? What are you doing? Uh, I am in the building phase. You could build stuff like uh, this if you wanted to. I guess. So you put down wooden planks, you can put down like wheels. hinges, wheels, all these things, and you can construct this siege machine inside this environment. He put a cannon yep. on there. And so you can like fire, but I missed. <laughs> <laughs> so you go back into your cube and then you can yeah. rebuild everything. But I did build a better version of this earlier. It's got armor and everything. And so I just go like this and then I fire. Unfortunately, it's only like one use because it falls apart. Done. You can fire cannons once. Oh. Then you can go like this. Oh, when you said it falls apart, you meant your, mach your machine falls apart. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, This uh, the machines are really tough. You have to be able to have an idea for what you want to build, but then also how to build it in a way that it doesn't destroy itself. Yep. And since, as you can see, this cannonball can't reach the windmill, so the solution is to build something like this and Whoa, that is a pretty complex machine. This is a flying machine that is designed to... I suppose I should have shown this later, but oh well. This is the flying machine that's designed to drop bombs. These are called grabbers right here, these black things with the spikes on them. Not, not the gray things with the spikes on them. And they're called grabbers, and when you can, you can pick stuff up, and when you press V, you can release it. And you may want... For those of you that have played, that have played this game, you may know that you cannot put a bomb on a grabber Immediately, like when you put it in the build menu, I will show you how to do that later. Because right now, we gotta blow up. What are the feet you have on there? Like the springs? Oh, these are suspension, so like oh, cool. I can land and not damage the craft. Oh, wow. And this thing right here. And the props are on top, right? Those things on top are like that's, yeah. and you hit O, and that turns them, and then you can fly with that. And or also, you can dance. And you can dance too. And so, this is uh, the slider up here. Is like a time scale thing, so you can go really fast. Oh! <laughs> you, you hit it! <laughs> How did you hit it? I don't know. <laughs> or you can go. So ultimately, it doesn't even matter what happens to your machine as long as you destroy the objective. That's all that matters. Yep. Or you can go. <laughs> So we should have replay. I guess we have replay because we recorded it. <laughs> yeah, and then you can go really slow. I wonder if in slow it'll do exactly what it did before. Probably not. No, it doesn't. And then if you let go, I guess you can watch See, it. See, and it's leaning forward because it has a weight there on the front. Yeah. And this. Whoa. Okay, there goes that machine. What? I should show it in normal too. So basically, the way it works is you fly, and the weight makes it lean forward, and you drop bombs. And how do you drop the bomb? Just by hitting the grabber button? Yeah, is that which, v? Is, which is by the default V. Okay. And so I'm going to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to uh, make the grabber thing with the bombs. Because like I said earlier, normally you can't uh, place a, let's see, where's the bomb? Uh, like a bomb on the grabber. On the grabber, it doesn't work. And you tried, I saw you were trying different things. Like you tried a thing where you had a bomb resting on another part of the ship, it would roll off, and then you would grab it with the grabber. Yeah. Like, and that's how you do it. But then I, we used the method for trying to use the grabber to, like, hold a bomb from the beginning. Yeah. And so, anyway, what you do is you can put a... You put a one-by-one... One, I guess, so, yeah, one-by-one one wood block right here. And since you can put a bomb next to the block or under it, you just do this. There you go. Then you erase the block, 
And then you go mechanical and you find a uh, grabber. And then you just do this. And then this happens. Wait, well, well yeah. I should probably put like a stand that shut. I gotta say this is if you don't play a lot of building games, that doesn't really matter. This game is actually really easy to pick up. Yeah. Um, and it's like one of these games that's, I think, what? Didn't blow up? Uh-huh. It's one of these games that's uh, uh, easy to understand and really difficult to master it. Because, man, I have built, and you've built some crazy contraptions. I have one that has like three catapults. <laughs> I've never used <laughs> buzz saws before. Yep. It's even fun if you go really fast. Like, I build one that has catapults, and, like, you know, if you have something with a catapult, you've got to be able to brace it so it doesn't rip itself apart. <laughs> and you can, you can also go in different stages, right? Like, you can use the cannons, then you can drop a bomb. Yeah. Like, you can put cannons on this thing if you wanted to. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to put flames to throwers. you got to do this in style. I should probably explain what this is, the stuff is up here. This is the mis- button that sets a machine on the ground, so... And then this just lets you move it around, so you can go like this. Ooh. Yeah, so if you want to work on the bottom of it, you can raise it up. Yep. And there's really no budget for what you can use and what you can't use. Yeah. The only thing is you have to stay inside that box. And also you get all the items so far in the game on the first level. Yeah, they don't make you unlock the, the items. And then this is the erase block. I showed it earlier. And then this is a key mapper, so I can like choose this to press, like shoot with Y, and so it'll shoot with the cannons. I want to see you crash some more ships. Okay, I'm gonna test this first. And then now I'm he's adding steel braces. Yeah. And he does that by clicking and dragging between two points, and that's the way you can secure the. Now it probably because of these steel braces it won't fall apart. Probably. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. So what fell? <laughs> get over there. You can almost uh, get there. Here, you can also disable the bounding box. Except if you beat a level with uh, out the bounding box, it won't let you progress to the next level. So you can go like this and burn the house down. But when the house crumbles, I can't go to the next level. Except I can because I already beat this level. Right, because you crashed your <laughs> ship right on it. Look at these sauce. Oh, that chicken's in trouble. <laughs> no, chicken. No. <laughs> okay. The next zone is like... This is a navigating one. Yeah. I'm what just... is that? <laughs> What is that? Uh, it's like a car that has a bunch of wheels, but it's really... It's like a log. <laughs> a log. <laughs> Can, you t- <laughs> Can you turn the thing? No. Nope. Something just ripped itself apart instantaneously. So uh, <laughs> on, on every single wheel... You can determine which way it goes. You can say we want this wheel to turn left yeah. or rotate this way clockwise, rotate counterclockwise if you want to, Except or just you know do what it's doing right now. I think most. Of the, How I is think, it? I think it alternates. So this goes forward, this goes back, this goes forward. Well, no wonder it ripped itself apart. Like, I like the idea that the part that's supposed to move instead just spins around. Like if you were in a car that did that, it'd be like the center of the car spinning around the wheels. Yeah. That is an unhealthy device that you've built. And you might find that building certain machines for certain levels. You'll never use them again. You just, you know, you build a machine just to get through a certain level. Actually, the one I showed earlier with the flying thing, I've used a lot. That's, I beat like half these levels with it. And the cool thing is like, you're like, oh man, I built this whole machine. It's not working. I got to scrap it and start off with something else. But you can save it as, I call this caterpillar. That's it right there. And there's some other ones I'll show later. This one is hilarious right here. But. The mayhem machine? Yep. But I was going to say to rebuild a machine it's not a big deal. It's not that hard. Wow, that thing's going nuts. Yeah, it's lagging. Oh my gosh, I actually beat the level. With the caterpillar? Yep. Wow, the caterpillar actually did something right. Unbelievable. Look at that trumpet. It's like, you did a good job, man. Yeah, I, I, I gotta say, for an early access game, this one is actually, I think, fully playable. Oh, I and, hate this level. Good. What this. is this? Let me look at this machine. Let's see it on here. So those yellow and black things are springs. Yeah. This was originally a catapult that launched explosives. Okay. But then I just decided to add a whole bunch of springs, and then it turned into something hilarious, and I just replaced the, uh, the weights and stuff with spikes. All right. Let's see what this thing does. Wow. Well, I think it was worse. I think it snapped at the support structure. The That's whole it. thing, was, the point of this, though, was to make it all glitchy and stuff. What's the point of the, of the mayhem machine? Yeah. Well, there's mayhem, all right. Yep. Okay. And so you can also, you can just do this. Nailed it. Yep. This is also where slow-mo. You ever landed that thing? Uh, yeah, occasionally. It's kind of hard, though. No, to magic is that weight on the front. No, that's, that's okay. going to be a good one, I think. I think you nailed it. 
slow down even more. Boom, gone. Oh, yeah, that's cool, man. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that, shot. coming out like a Michael Bay movie. Yeah. And then you can go speed it up, it's like, Phew. I can't imagine what, like, medieval battles would look like if these were actually the siege machines that ended up there. Yeah. It'd be funny for people to Photoshop these things into, like... I was going to say real photos, but there are no photos from... Oh, nice! Mm -hmm. From uh, from that era. Well, so, they got, like, they got into, like paintings. classic paintings and stuff. You could, like... You know how they have, like, paintings of rich guys? I bet they have one where, like, he's sitting by a window. You could put it in, like, the background of the window. Like, this, <laughs> this is a med medieval drone right here. Look, this is, like, the eyes. It's kind of, like... It's, like, evil. What? This, oh. oh! What I'd happened? Evil. Oh. It's because of the, the cannons. So now what here? You got to get this army and then get the... <laughs> Place yep. where they live. Boop. Nailed it. Except you gotta destroy go, like take off. you gotta oop, let's go. <laughs> you got this, you got it. You're gonna catch on fire if you touch that flame. Oh, oh. no, they're firing arrows at you. Yeah. There, you you can also this is a good time to show that you can use invincibility to and so you can just drop bombs and then like crush Whoa, did you see that landing? And see they can shoot you like all day. And each level is like really, really short, but it's kind of like, in a, in a weird way, it's almost like a geographic puzzle. Like, how can we get this there? And some people online have built crazy machines that like walk. Yeah. So I'm going to show an example of the key mapping. Oh, oh, wait. Whoa, what happened there? Okay. Let me load it on a different level because this one's really laggy. Okay. It's like we're going all over the country. Yeah, here. Go, go to the one that just has the Ford on it, and not the people. This one? Yeah. Okay. So. Hope. Oh, they fell in. This has like a turret on it that can go side to side. It's kind of glitchy, though. Oh, that's cool. Here. So is that, like, on a steering hinge or something? Yeah. It's on a... Let me see. I never thought to make a turret it's that turned a... the cannons. I always just turn the whole thing. Yeah, it's on this. It's on a steering block. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. It's like a rotate. I could fire, like, one here. And then I could do this. And I could, like, fire one here. It's not that accurate, though. That's the problem. Yeah, those cannons are tough, man. Oh, sheep are free. Go, sheep, run. Run, be free. And then you saved all the hostages. I can fire the last one. Nice! I did Tug, it. Tug, it's, it's accurate. Look at that. Look at that farmer over there. He's not even paying attention. He's looking away. Yeah. It's really cool when you fire them like at similar times, but like, so you get like this. Farmer's like there thinking, I know my sheep are safe, so I'm just going to sit here and daydream. Meanwhile, yeah. the sheep are taking off for the horizon. I built a crazy machine that I'm not going to show until I get to the sandbox level. All and right. Well, we got about five minutes left in this. Oh, shoot. What, what happened? I it crashed. All right, well, we just crashed, but we may have gotten an update here. Is there anything new? Uh, I don't see any new places we can go to. So, let's... Some update. Yeah, yeah. probably just bug fixes, because those are always fun. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go to the sandbox. All right, let's go to the sandbox. So I'm going to load probably the weirdest machine I have. It's not that weird. It's just like, why would I do this? It's just a platform. All right. It's really funny... When you put it through this thing. So if you just do this, I'm going to make it go slow-mo. It like shreds it. Yeah. I'm going to try putting this thing through. The caterpillar? Yep. And so on the sandbox level, this is just, what, just random things? Nothing to blow up? Yeah, uh, there's a castle and a statue and a few houses around. All right, so what are we doing here? We are just screwing around. Okay. Um, well, do you want to show some more machines? Got any other machines? Yeah. Why, or why don't we why don't we set out to build a machine? How about we try that? Okay, hold on. I want to show one more thing. Okay. This and the grinder is the best one. We're just grinding stuff now. Yeah, well, no, it's to be the last thing. All right. Dun 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 da, da, da. And do you have to unlock the sandbox, or is it automatically open? Uh, it's automatic. You automatically get it. Look at that. Woo! I like how you destroyed the house in the process too. Yep. That house is in a bad place. That was bound to eventually. Hurt that house. Yep. Oh, it exploded. What exploded? The house, apparently. The houses are exploding. Should we build a flying machine or a car? That should be the base. Um, I think I think what we want to do is destroy that thing in front of us. I'd say build a car with a catapult on it. Okay. I think I can do that. Let me see what I can do. Okay. So the reason I'm building this grid pattern is so I can put weights in it. Because with the catapult, if you use like springs and stuff. Uh, and you have like a heavy thing that is launching, it will uh, flip the catapult over, and that usually hits the thing that's flying, and it will like it won't go very far. Oh, they added a balloon. Best update ever. Okay, so we got new parts in the update. You need more balloons. 
Yeah. I'm gonna build up. Forget what we were doing. Let's build an up house. So something you can do. The, uh, b balloons are brand new. So something to be fun is to make a line of balloons and then have spikes that pop your own balloons. Yeah. Come on. Fly. Fly. Are you doing anything? Or is it just like kind of like going up on its own? It's just going up on its own. I think it's the people pushing it. Yes. You can do it, people. It does. It looks like they're trying to help it get in the air. They're like, they're all excited about it. Go up. Go up. Well, even the balloon just... Oh, go. Yeah. Oh. I'd love to see you put like just a cannon being floated by balloons. So I'm going to do this? Yeah, you can build stuff with pistons. I mean, I've seen people where they have like things where hinges come and like... It's like a big like pair of hands and they clap together and yeah. take out the cottage or something like that. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Did you add that in flight? What do you mean? Like, was it already flying when you added the propeller? Or did you go back to the bounding box? Uh, no, I added it in the bounding box. That thing's a wreck. That's how, that's how, that's how wings work, right? You put as many as you can. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works, but I think that's how it might work. in Look at that! Thing's staying up! Yep. I would not get on that plane. I want to be honest with you. I admire your design. I would not get on it. Now, what we got to do is figure out a way... To get it to go up. It's doing it. Is it? <laughs> it's not doing it. Woo! Yeah, crash boy. Yeah, it's dead. You, okay, can I try making one? Yeah. Okay, here, let's oh, trade wait, places. David, wooden pole too. Let's just trade places. I'll try and make one. I'm going to try to make a catapult if I can. Okay. So I'm going to start off by building basic support structure. All right. Do, All right. Do, do. Put some wheels on it. Yeah, I, I'd put a powered wheel. I don't even know why they'd add unpowered wheels. Like, what's the point? In it? I don't know either. All right, now I'm going to try to build. There's a hinge. Uh, not, I don't want that kind of hinge. I just want a regular old hinge. Oh, uh, I think that's in mechanical. Wait, no. Uh, no, it's in the basic blocks. There yeah. So there's a hinge right there. Okay, so let's put a... We need a hinge for a catapult. I'd make it pretty... I would make it like three wooden blocks tall. All right, we're looking pretty good here. Now this <laughs> thing is going to... I know it's gonna fall apart unless we brace it. Cause I've tried catapults before. All right, we'll put a little holder up here for this. Okay, you gonna put a bomb or a boulder? Let's put a boulder in. Okay, oh. so then we have now go get some springs. Yep. And attach these here. And oh. attach these here. All right, so this is gonna be our first attempt with the catapult. You might wanna put it on the ground before you use yeah. it. So drop it down to the ground. Okay, how are you feeling about this? Yeah, good. All right, are you ready? Yep. What's your prediction? I think it might work. It didn't oh, work. It's okay. Didn't go Boom. far enough, though. Didn't go far enough. Okay, so what are we going to do to make it go farther? Uh, I, I added more springs. Let's change it out with a bomb. Bomb? What do you say? It's in weapons. It's All right. Like... Bomb. Look at that. All right. How are you feeling? Good. I feel pretty good. Yeah. Let's do it. Here we go. Whoop. Yeah, you should. <laughs> oh no, I'm on fire. Well, that was the worst. Up. <gasps> oh, oh, I went over. It went over. Who Come on, you. Far behind. All right, ready? I want to delete those back to those sprigs. <laughs> Whoop. Boom. I'll take it. Yeah. Take that. We did it. Yep. All right, JD. Thanks for showing me Besiege. Any comments about Besiege? What do you think about it? Who would like this game? Well, people who play Kerbal Space Program mm. or Gary's Mod, if you build, if you like build, if you like to build stuff on Gary's Mod, like weird contraptions, then this would be for you. Yeah, you can play like with put armor on stuff. I suppose if you're one of those hardcore animators, I guess you could buy it too or whatever. <laughs> and there's a lot of options. Like there are little people in here um, that come and attack your thing, and you know you. But you can turn off stuff like blood and stuff like that. If like yeah, you know you don't want that. Like, we have all that stuff turned down on this because you know we want it to be playable for kids. <laughs> Thanks, JD. Bye.